Hello, everybody. Oh. We just released the carnival collection yesterday. Who doesn't love a good carnival? Like nostalgia, the excitement, the lights. The design team did an amazing job crafting this. <laughs> Let's just dive right in. Okay, this, this first this, one. This first one. This is the tattooed floral. This. Zoom in even more. Yeah, like let's let's shove both of our faces inside of it. Oh, look at look that. Look at that. We were really excited about this tattoo, carnival tattoo artwork. This almost actually didn't make it into the collection because we didn't know how this would resonate with everyone or if this was something that you guys would want. After it was created by one of our talented artists, we were just all enamored by it and we just thought, yeah. how wonderful. And it can live outside of this collection too. So this is another really fun one. This is the Funhouse Geode. Look at how beautiful Nancy looks in this. Like it really, all those colors pop because of the line work. And this is really reminiscent of all the fun house that you would go into at a carnival, looking up into the ceiling with mirrors and lights. Really wanted to capture that kind of almost beautiful kind of getting lost in that carnival fun feeling. I've been seeing that y'all have been wanting things that are not as busy around the eyes, something a little bit more classic. And I think the ruby pin dot really does captivate that while also encapsulating the feel of carnival. Mm-hmm, like a tried and true classic design. Next, we oh. have the playful Harlequin split. Love these. And so it has a bit of that stained glass effect to it. So if you look very closely, there's a bit of tip watercolor texture in it and the line detail is very thick. So it has kind of that stained glass effect. This is the Marquee, um, which is a little bit different than the Playful Harlequin split, mm -hmm. but has some really amazing colors in it. To look like you're gonna about to celebrate something, pop these on. Yeah. You wanna look flashy and start a conversation, pop these on. The designer who did this was so amazing. She really put a lot of time and care into it. So if you look at it very closely, again, there's so much detail in that the team puts into all these top frames. Yeah. Moving on to something that isn't as, you know, line heavy as animated, I would say. You don't want something animated? I mean, well, we love animated, but if you're not someone who does love mm -hmm. the cartoony feel, maybe pick up something like the Rainbow Cotton Candy, which is a lot more abstract and pastel. You know what it reminds me of? What does it remind you? It reminds me of Rainbow Sherbert from when I was a kid, and I would get the like tub, and I would just eat like all of it. It's so bright and colorful. It, it's, it feels like a watercolor effect. Can we introduce the next one? Yeah, so this is a, I would say style fan favorite as far as design. This is the Carnival Plaid. It's a super cute design. Um, you know, it's great for the holidays. Um, and it's kind of a brighter take on plaids. I know a lot of y'all are talking about how you love those simple designs. This is very simple in design, but it's still bright and colorful. Um, and I think it's pretty easy to pair with just about any outfit. Moving on, we have a, another frame that's kind of similar to the cotton candy. These are the hot air balloons. These hot air balloons have had many lives. And so we really, like this like took a couple iterations. There's so much detail in this. There's the hot air balloons are rainbow colors and like all of those clouds. It really gives you this kind of almost dreamy feeling. So really wanted to capture that feeling and to offer it for you guys on a topper. So moving on to some darker frames. Um, I would say that these are definitely not something that I own in my collection, but would probably add, be adding to. This is the fortune teller. Look at Nancy. It's Look at her. Very nice she looks like she's gonna tackle her fate and oh, change it. I love oh, it. Yeah. This is so intricate. There's so many like cool colors, little detailing, crystals, stars, the moons. It's so I would say mesmerizing is the word that I would describe this one as. Oh yes. I mean also like the tarot cards too. You wouldn't have it's like from afar you wouldn't tell, but once you get a little bit more closer, you're like, oh my God, this is a full reading. Perfect for this kind of fall and winter season. And also if you're for October, this is perfect too. If you're trying to like do some cosplay, like as a fortune. Perfect pop these on for spooky season. Mm -hmm. We have the Celestial Fireworks, which is another dark base with all of these super bright and vibrant 
um, celestial objects. Uh, so these kind of celestial um, artworks are kind of trending uh, for this fall season, so really wanted to offer it for our pair uh, community in our own version. So really did like this illustrated version of it with these planets, these starbursts, yeah. these, oh, there's so much little details in here again, like just beautiful line work, um, moon stars, everything underneath, like in the sky on a topper for y'all. This is the charming snake. This kind of came out of offering also, we really heard you guys and you guys wanted something more easy. And so we wanted to offer a cla more classic design, but done in a very um, carnival way, in a very kind of magical way. So we did this snake skin with almost this oil spill um, color effect on top of it. It's, it was so fun working on this to really kind of create something um, like work on a classic and really make it new again. This kind of reminds me, is that a uh, Halloween contest still uh, going on? Yes. I need, uh, I need that $200. $200 gift card. $200. So that's great that you bring that up, Andy, because this is, like you said, a great um, top frame that you can easily pair for Halloween. Um, so right now we are running our Halloween comp uh, contest um, on Instagram and TikTok. So you want to hashtag scare with pear and tag us, um, showing off your pear with your favorite topper um, and a costume to match. So, um, so all you have to do is submit a video and be sure to tag us and hashtag scare with pear. Time is running out. Time is running out. The clock is ticking. Oh, the clock is ticking. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one, this one's so fun. Time to move down memory lane. Yeah. We have some really great, like nostalgic <laughs> top frames that I just like saw some of these and I was like, oh, I'm a kid again. Rubber duckies. How freaking cute. We have memory lane. Um, Let's swap out and add on what my second favorite in this collection is. This is the carousel. How cute is that? Listen, like this collection could not be complete without some colorful horses. Moving on to the animals. Oh my god, another, another animal. Another animal top frame. Oh, how many did we do? So many. So many fun ones. This is the sideshows. So there's a fox on an end piece here that is a ringleader. You have a cat bearded lady. You also have a Frenchie as a strong man. What? Sweet. Yes. And of course, last but not least, this was a big fan favorite. Um, these are the bubbles. Look at that. I don't think video simply does this frame it's justice. Um, and like, who doesn't love bubbles? It's a very magical top frame. It's got this super deep base. This wraps up the end of that collection. This was a smaller collection, but it was a mighty one. Yes, yeah, small but mighty. Of course. As one would say. Yes. What were y'all's favorite top frames out of this collection? Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Oh gosh. Oh, well, my favorite is the duckies. Like, yeah. hands down. Like This was a stellar collection. And like we said earlier, this is a limited edition collection. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to make sure to grab them you can because you never know if they will return um yeah so that just about wraps up our live for today yeah. um do you have any closing words any final thoughts before we wrap it up well i mean if you haven't already again remind you please join the pear family facebook please uh comment let us know your thoughts let Nancy and I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Did you like this collection? Did do you, you want to see more? How what do you color? feel about this? Yeah, it's not a therapy session, but, but you know, we want to hear all, all your thoughts. I just want to know everything. And post photos. Post photos. Let us know how you feel about this live situation yeah. that we keep doing. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, Thank you guys again for always tuning in. You guys are so amazing. Yeah, um, absolutely love it. And you know, one thing I also want to note, we are missing two top frames from this collection that oh, we don't currently have. Oh, the sadness. Uh, the, the sadness. Sad, the sadness. Yeah. The brown to ogre gradient and mm -hmm. the jade and sage split. And with that, <laughs> this live has to come to an end. Yes. Is, shall we turn off the lights and close the curtains? We shall turn off the lights and close the curtains. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Thank y'all all so much for joining, and we will see you again soon. All right. Bye! Bye.